up everybody Robert back to basics outdoors it is Saturday February 4th and I am at DNS bait tackle and archery on the north side of Madison I'll put the phone number across the screen and all that for you guys but anyhow today I'm doing something I haven't done in 25 30 years at least yeah long time <laughs> today I'm going out on Lake Mendota perch fishing but all I'm using is swish rods and pencil weights. Getting down to the bottom, reeling up a couple cranks, sitting there and jigging. No electronics, none of that fancy custom rods or danglers or jigging wraps. Literally old school fishing like I had to do when I was a kid. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here and talk to Pat once he opens up, see where people have been catching fish, walk on out there, drill a hole, fish it, and hope to catch some fish so stay tuned I've been looking forward to doing this for the last week now I am really jacked up so even if I don't catch a fish there's probably a good chance that I'm gonna put this video out there just to show you guys that you don't need all this money and fancy electronics to get out there and catch fish so stay tuned like I said once Pat gets here we're gonna run in get some spikes jigs and hit the water we'll see you guys yeah so a lot of folks have been uh, parking over here to Mendota County Park and uh, then they have been walking out this whole West Basin has been good for perch lately but a lot of folks, like I said, parking here at Mendota County Park and then kind of headed southeast over here, uh, kind of just north of Commodore Bar and Second Point area. Uh, it's a huge area out there, but uh, the perch schools have been roaming around and folks have been doing well. And uh, yeah, if anybody ever is curious about our fishing report, we uh, publish one every Friday. We post it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We do a phone report. Uh, if you want to uh, call that, it's uh, 608 Big Fish. And you can follow us on social media at DS Bait Tackle Fly Shop. And uh, yeah, get you set up and point you in the right direction. Well, finally got my swish rod, pencil weight, and rat finky tied up, ready to go. It's like back in the day, hold on, a glow rat finky and a red and white spike. So, can't even tell you how deep I'm fishing, I'm guessing at least 60. So we're going to drop this down and reel it up three or four cranks and sit and jig here. So, if you guys have never seen these, this is what a swish rod is. Just a big spool and with a copper pencil weight, but on this tensioner spring, screw, you loosen it up, that's how it goes down. The looser you get it, the faster it goes. Another thing you want to do is keep your thumb on it so when you hit the bottom it doesn't all spin around. Once you find your depth where you want to be, literally hook it right on there. Then every time you reel up and drop down, it will always be at the same depth. So stay tuned. Don't know what's going to happen, but I am excited. And these have not been used in probably 25 years. And you can tell. Broke the line. That's what? Yep. Yep. Well, I finally got a bite and the line broke. Yoder gave me a line from 1970. Set me up for failure. 
Well guys, I finally got a bite. Finally. And Yoder's over there talking crap. You'll see it on the camera. Set the hook and the line snapped. <laughs> oh, I just want one fish. Do you know how hard it is to sit and stare down a hole or stare at a hole, two rods without a locator and just sit there and jig them and jig them and jig them and then stop and jig and jig and jig and stop. Don't get me wrong, it's still fun, but times have really changed in the last 30 years. That is for sure. So, only got about another hour to fish. Hopefully, we'll get another one. So, stay tuned. We'll let you know what happens. And Yoder hasn't caught anything either, and he's using a locator, so I don't feel too bad. I don't care what you do. I just wanted to catch one and leave. Man, what a kick in the dick. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, Yoder, again. No, missed. Well, guys, I tried my hardest. It is harder than I remember to sit and stare at swish rods and two holes, no locator, not having any idea if you're on fish or not. But we punched quite a few holes, sat somewhere for an hour and a half, two hours, and moved around. And now it is noon, and I need to get out of here because now I'm headed up to Washburn, Wisconsin, Ashland area to go fish with Tommy Hicks and Beyond the Catch Guide Service for trout, which I am pumped about. So, sorry for the lame video, but honestly, I had a lot of fun doing this, even though I got really frustrated, but hey, used to do it 25, 30 years ago, so had one break off, missed another one. It is what it is, so. Really appreciate all the support you guys have given. I think we're 10 subscribers away to giving that fish boy rod right away. So that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So until then, stay tuned. Going to Lake Superior. After that, I don't know. I don't care. Looking forward to Lake Superior. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see ya.